Graffiti has often been dismissed as mere vandalism, a blight upon our urban landscapes. But if we peer beneath the surface, we find that graffiti is a cornerstone of urban art, with a rich history and a profound influence on contemporary culture. It is a form of expression that dates back to ancient civilizations, but found its voice in the modern era on the streets of New York City in the late 1960s and early 1970s. In those days, graffiti was a way for the youth, particularly from marginalized communities, to make their mark on a city that often overlooked them. It was an assertion of identity, a shout of existence from those who felt voiceless. Early graffiti artists like Taki 183 and Tracy 168 began tagging their names across the city, their monikers becoming part of the urban fabric. As tagging became more prevalent, the style evolved. Artists started embellishing their tags with flourishes, creating their unique lettering that took on a life of its own. This was the birth of what we now recognize as the graffiti style, bold colors, hard lines, and dynamic shapes. These were not mere signatures anymore. They were artworks that commandeered the gray canvases of subway cars and building walls. Throughout the 1980s, graffiti began to gain recognition beyond the streets. Artists like Jean-Michel Basquiat and Keith Haring brought aspects of graffiti into the galleries, bridging the gap between street art and fine art. Their work signaled a paradigm shift, challenging the boundaries of what was considered legitimate art. Graffiti's influence didn't stop at the art world. It permeated various aspects of popular culture, influencing the rising hip-hop movement. Graffiti, with its bold and rebellious nature, became one of the four pillars of hip-hop culture, alongside DJing, MCing, and b-boying. This art form, once seen as an act of defiance, was now shaping the aesthetic of a global phenomenon. As we moved into the late 20th and early 21st centuries, graffiti's reputation continued to evolve. Street art, a broader term encompassing various methods of urban art, became widely accepted. Artists like Banksy and Shepard Ferry, whose works include nuanced political and social commentary, propelled graffiti siblings into the mainstream consciousness. These artists have changed the game by taking the spirit of graffiti's resistance and subversion and channeling it into pieces that engaged with a wider audience. But we can't discuss graffiti's history without examining the ongoing debate about its legality. The very thing that gave graffiti its edge, its unsanctioned creation, has also made it controversial. Cities worldwide have waged war against graffiti through aggressive cleanup campaigns and anti-vandalism laws. Nevertheless, some have embraced it, creating legal walls and street art festivals that celebrate the art form. So as we consider the towering murals and intricate stencils that now adorn urban environments globally, we acknowledge graffiti's indelible mark. It has transformed from an underground movement into a cultural powerhouse that's reshaped how we engage with our cities and with art itself. No longer just the scribbles on the side of a train car, graffiti has been instrumental in redefining public space. It turns walls into conversations, bridges into galleries, and neighborhoods into shared stories. It reminds us that our cities are living entities, not static relics, and that every spray-painted line is a pulse of vibrant culture coursing through the concrete veins of our urban landscapes. It's clear the voice that graffiti found on the fringes has echoed into an anthem for creative expression that reverberates far beyond the reaches of its illicit origins.